Good morning and welcome to the full review of the Misuno Horizon 5. Roll the beauty shots. Now, the horizon came out of some kind of inspiration of the Paradox. It was massive, large, super stable, and it had this huge bulk on the inside that made it completely, completely firm. And it was an okay shoe. It was kinda a little bit too much for me though. And you saw it in my eyes and other eyes. It just didn't sell that well. Two years ago, Misuno just completely pivoted and they changed the formula and they changed it drastically. So they made a totally different shoe, a stability shoe that does not feel like a stability shoe and that is a genius masterstroke in my opinion. Misuno Horizon 4, I tried that one last year, I really liked it, it's super nice to run in but after that Misuno again came with a game changer and that was the Misuno Energy Foam which they implemented in the Sky 4, the Rider Neo, the Rider 24 as well and now the Horizon 5. You can see it right here, this part, the blue part that's Misuno Energy. More of that later. So the entire stack height of this shoe is 36 to 26 millimeters. The midsole itself is 31 to 21. So that's a 10 millimeter drop. It's a lot of cushion for the cushion. It's a maximum cushion daily trainer on the stability side of the category. So it has stability, but you can't see it. Where is it? There's no guide rails. There's no medial post. It's on the inside, and I'll show that later. Now, let's talk about the fit first of this shoe. It has this kind of knit, really comfortable upper, seamless, it's really nice. It is a little bit, not super wide in the toe box, actually. It's kind of uh, a, a little bit of a narrower fit compared to the Inspire 17. So if you want more space for your toes, then this might not be the first option you wanna choose. It's a uh, US 11 in my size, so that means I've gone one up and it's kind of not super long in that size either. So it's on the smaller side. If you move towards the midfoot, it's nice, it's grippy. It has these overlays here and on the inside. They, they make it a little bit more stable around the midfoot. The tongue is gusseted, so that means it's attached to either side and also the front part here. So it slips in almost like a sock and it feels pretty nice, but the sides there, they're kind of thick. So it's not the most breathable part. So you have this gusseted thing that goes all the way to the front and then you have the upper. And I, I wish they could just remove one of the parts because it's a little bit warmer than I would like it to. If we go back to the heel, it's really nice and firm. Some people don't like this kind of firm heel. It doesn't feel that intrusive though, and it actually has this really nice padding that isn't too much either. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with having this shoe on. It doesn't slip at all, but if it slips, you have another hole and do the runner's knot. But I think it's gonna fit a lot of people, and I've seen a lot of people at the store really liking the fit of this shoe. Overall, it's a thumbs up on the fit for me. Now, if we go over to the field, this is where the shoe really shines. And it's because it's a stability shoe that does not feel like a stability shoe. If you want the firm, really hard grip, then this is not the shoe for you. But if you want to feel like you're just normally running, but you want a little bit added stability, then this is the real deal. It really works and it's not in that way where it pushes you or controls you, it just guides you along the path. And this is how it's made. So let's look away from this because this is a Sky 4, but the bottom part is almost exactly the same apart from one really big thing, and I'll get to that in a little while. So let's go to the bottom part first, the bottom part of the midsole and the outsole. The outsole is a little bit different. This one is a normal traditional EVA that's a little bit firmer and gives a little bit of stiffness 
to the shoe. Now, on top of that, there's a Misuno Energy Foam. And this one is a little bit softer. It's a little bit more springy. It's a little bit more bouncy. It's a little bit better, in my opinion. And then in the middle there, you have a core that's called the X-Pop. It's a TPU core, just like Adidas Boost, just like Saucony Power Run Plus. It's the same thing. It gives a little bit more cushioning. It's a little bit heavier, but it's a little bit, yeah, more bouncy. So it's really nice and it's in the core between these foams. Now this construction is not revolutionary at all. If you compare it to like Saucony's, what they've done for the last five years is exactly this. It's the rider, it's the guide right now, it's the Kimvara. It's the Triumph and the Hurricane from a couple of years back. But here is the fun part. This mid part here, when it's not in the sky, it's actually asymmetrical. That means it's taller on one side and then lower on the other. And that actually means that it gives the same type of support that a medial post does without feeling like a medial post. And that is kind of revolutionary. It's such a nice feeling to run in this shoe because it's more stable but it doesn't feel like a stability shoe. So as you've noticed it's a heavy shoe but it kind of isn't slow even though it's heavy, it's not fast. Don't think about that. But I have this segment in the city where I live and it's about two and a half kilometers and my record right now is with the Horizon 5. And that's kind of funny because it's almost 150 grams heavier than my Endorphin Speed, for instance. And I still can run fast in this, but don't expect the Speed Horse. It's not that, it's a comfortable, really nice, daily trainer with added stability that you can just run and feel comfortable and cushioned in. The big difference between this one and the last version is actually the Misuno Energy and I feel that a tiny bit, it's a little bit faster to run in in some kind of way. It's really, really small details. I wish they went everything apart from the X-Pop as Misuno Energy. I think that would really make this shoe fun to run in. So overall, not a speed monster, but it can do faster paces because of the stiffness and because it's actually really nice and has a little bit of a pop to it. So pretty good shoe to run in. When it comes to stability, it's not as stable as a shoe with a medial post. So don't expect that. It's just like with guide rails. It's not as stable, but it's close and it gives the type of stability that you need. So it's a nice stable shoe. I would categorize it as a mild stability shoe, while the Inspire is a mild to moderate stability shoe. So it's pretty good. I've actually seen people go from the Horizon 3 to the Horizon 4 and 5, and they've had no issues. And there's a vast difference between those two shoes. So it's not a bad stability shoe. Now, if I was to make it a little bit better, I would make it a little bit more breathable, remove one part of the upper that makes it a little bit more breathable. I would change the entire midsole so the entire midsole was Misuno Energy. That would just make it better because Misuno Energy is the best foam that Misuno has. Uh, the X-Pop could stay, I like that. <laughs> and that's it. If you buy this, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it if you want a nice, comfortable running shoe. Now that's it for this review. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you like running related content, then please subscribe. Anyways, have a great day, have a fantastic run, and I'll see you next time. Bye.